Hello everyone, and this is gonna be a survival series. So, I started in a nice little Taiga Hills biome. So, for anyone who wants to see, this is it. So, 749 So, I'm gonna start right away by getting some wood. Because, as you all know, if you've played Minecraft, you will definitely need this in order to survive your first night. So I'm gonna dig up a few trees. I at least needed this many. Wait. Usually I try and complete all my quests. This is really the only way to do that. So, let's get started on the first part of craft. Hey. So, first I'll need some sticks to make an axe. And a pickaxe. So I will definitely need this axe in order to get all this wood faster. Because, as you all know, as I already said, you will need it. Because I played this game a lot in my life. And I have actually collected almost the entire forest on one of my other games. So it is really interesting. Especially if you have a diamond axe, but I use diamond for that. So anyways. I'm just gonna be chopping some wood, getting the necessities, and since there's some stone, it's gonna be pretty easy to start the series off. But the first thing I'm gonna do after I start this is mining. Well, actually, first of all, at least look for a better place to live. Like, once I'm done with this tree, because I'm pretty sure I'd have enough wood by then. Well, I'm just gonna leave that. So, looks like there's a clearing over here. It looks nice. I might build my house, like, maybe over here. And since there's a lot of stuff, is that cold? So, this is a nice spawn. And, let me see. So, so plus three attack damage, plus two. So since I have no weapon, I'm just going to use my axe. Because I really need this chicken. Because I don't really need this food. Because my hunger isn't going down. So I'll really have to be careful for when it starts to go down. So I'm just going to start by killing some of these chickens. Because I will need their meat. Because I don't want to die. So this is going to be a really interesting series. I'm going to do tons of stuff. Obviously I'm not going to. Obviously I'm going to have to battle the Ender Dragon with her soon. But I'm not going to do it now. Because that, we're like near now. Maybe in like maybe 30 episodes. Because that seems possible. So right now I'm just going to collect some of this coal and some of this cobblestone. Because I should really get a furnace scope and maybe cook some of this meat. Because I will really need this. Luckily I had this pretty good spawn. Because there was some chicken. Like I'll kill some spiders tonight in order to get them bed if I can't find any sheep. But I'm just going to collect all this coal, because I don't really need more than a bit. It's not like I have so much. So it's going to be really interesting. But I cannot wait for later in the series where more interesting things will happen. But you can't have an end to this game without starting it. So this is going to be a fun series. I might do some things off camera if necessary. Like... Say, like, if I'm gonna mine for something that's taking too long, I need to find something. Like, then I'll probably do some stuff like that off camera. But that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna do a bunch of stuff. Some lawn resources, I'll probably grab that type of thing off camera. Like, like I'm planning on doing most of the series on camera. But for the boring stuff, like collecting resources, like an entire episode of that, I don't think that would be too exciting. So, I'm just going to collect some more stone. I'm just going to get to 30 really quick, and then I'm going to stop and just maybe start building a house. Okay. So, there's a nice forest over there, a nice flat area here, and a nice little area to start mining. So, I feel like this is a pretty good spawn. Hopefully, I can find something to make beds out of. So, let's see. So, I'm just going to make a simple hut. It doesn't have to be great, but it's got to be at least reasonably sized. I mean, I usually like two windows on the side. 
maybe not a lot of windows, but at least a couple. So, I'm just gonna get rid of this. So, I'm just gonna make this nice and simple. I'll probably be expanding this house to be something amazing later in the series. Oops. But for now, it's just gonna be a little hut. Nothing too special about it. So, it's gonna be a nice little place to start off with. I think I'm gonna have a cobblestone ceiling. Because it seems like I'm not going to have enough wood. Actually, cause, wait a minute. Because I'm really thinking of having, like, a wooden floor. And since I'll need a door, I'll probably be needing a cobblestone roof. I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, it does look nice. Like, like usually everyone uses blocks in their first few builds. Like, usually cobblestone because it's nice and, well, actually, no wood. And then they may use cobblestone for the floor, but I'm going to try and make my house look nice. So here's some chicken. Probably going to get some of it because I'll need it. So now back to building. So I'm definitely going to place my crafting table down. And I'm going to have to make a furnace right now. Because I will really need it. So place that in. So, really quick, I'm going to make a door. So, three spruce doors. This could be nice if I want to make my bigger. I'm also going to need a chest. So, I'm just going to put some of this stuff in here for now. So, I'm going to need a few more things. Sticks. Wait a minute, do I have a stick? Ooh, I have just enough stone. So instead of making a wooden sword, I'm just gonna make a stone sword. And just for a little heads up, usually in all the se in probably everything I do in Minecraft, I always make a mine in my house just for the convenience of it. Cause let's face it, it's too dangerous sometimes to go out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I need 15 sand in order to fill up my windows. So the sun is starting to go down. I've done quite a lot in this first day. So that's really good. Usually some people wind up having to make a house in the walls or some of a cave or something. Sometimes I just get it over with quickly. If you're lucky and you find a village, just make your house there. But... I'm just going to get enough sand to fill my house in, because I just want a nice little window. I don't really want anything too big. I'll just kill some more chickens. And I'm just going to get these eggs and maybe start a chicken farm in my house. Because everyone knows, chickens are an easy thing to get, and they're easy to cook. So hopefully I can get a little chicken farm, because everyone needs a chicken farm. Oh my god, a sheep, that's good. Ooh, two, three. So, I've already basically got my bed, some food, a house. So, I am set up for the first few days. And I actually forgot that sheep dropped mutton. So, I can make some nice meat. And I'm pretty sure it does a decent amount of hunger. I'm not sure how much exactly. So, there's a plane's over there. I'm probably going to check it out sooner in the series. Like, later in the series. But right now, I'm just going to make a nice little hat. Like, I'm just going to get back to my house, make my bed. Because it's close to night. I'm going to need my sand cooked up in order for me to have, like, windows. So take this out. Take two. So I've got that ready. I'm just going to put all this stuff in here except for this. So, you know what? I don't know if I just did that. So I'm just going to make a few torches, light up the area around my house. Because I don't want any mobs getting in or spawning. And usually the main thing that I've ever seen in a series is someone never puts any torches up around their house. The mobs get in and then they die. And then sometimes their houses will even blow up if, from a creeper maybe. 
The chances of that happening are kind of small, but still, I don't want to take any risks with my house. It may not have taken a long time to build, but it's my first one, and I'm probably going to maybe make a little, like, a bunch of buildings around here. And I might even make this, like, a server. Like, I might even make a server with this seed and make a little village. So, it's getting night time. I did not mean to do that. I should probably make my bed and set my spawn here. Because I do not want to die. I'll probably just sleep through my first night. So, I will at least set up the front and the back. And then at least one side of these two. Preferably the one behind me. Because that's probably going to be easier. Okay, good. So, this is... A nice night. I'm just gonna see my quests that I've done. Okay, so so I've done pretty good. So I've completed pretty much all the quests that you should at least be able to complete in your first night, which is what I always try to do. And so far, this video has been 11 minutes long because I'm checking. I usually don't want to make them too long or too short, so I'm probably just gonna go up to make be 20 minutes. So today I'm probably going to start my house mine. I never do it outside because it's too dangerous. Because if you have to go outside to get to it, you can usually get killed by something. And I just don't want that happening. It's always hard to get back. But before I go into the mine, I'm at least going to get my windows done. That way I can see if I can get chicken. Well, actually, I'm going to start a farm down here instead. So I'll just put these eggs away gonna shut my windows so it looks like I'm getting my first few days done pretty quickly wow I did not mean to find coal that fast it's good so this is gonna seem to be a good series so far boy and I just remembered an important rule I'm gonna have to go out before I go into that mine and the rule that I always go by is bring a lot of wood with you because it's important if you bring it. You don't want to run out, have no torches, have to go back to the surface. Because that's like the worst thing in the world, especially if you lose your way in the mine. I remember once doing that, I literally had to dig up. And I swear, I was so close to my house, yet I didn't even know it. So I don't want a situation like that happening, but I don't know where my house is. So I'm just going to get at least 15, maybe. And then I'm going to go down. But this series, I'm hoping, will be a really interesting one. I'm gonna do a lot of building in it. Like, I'm gonna look at some, maybe walk, like, I'm gonna probably look at walkthroughs for certain things and build them on camera. Because I don't want to have to wait and not know how to do anything. I might build some big things, I'm not sure. So, I'm just gonna go back now. Because I usually just try and get as much as I can. Please wait for my axe to break. Because I usually want to go into the mine quickly. I don't like it taking too long. Well, actually, no. So, I basically have nothing left in there. But I don't really care. Because I've got all this coal. And you know, a bunch of logs in my inventory. But, this is the best way to make a mine in my own opinion. Like, it's a safe mine. So, it's not like you can really die in your own house and not be able to get down easily like it's to me it's an efficient way of making a mine because it's not like you can really lose your place because when you lose where you are in your mind and you don't have a waypoint installed or like the way like a mini map mod installed or anything it'll get really difficult so I'm just gonna quickly make two stone pickaxes because I'll probably run out. Then I'll just probably come back up if I need to. But so far, I'm not doing that bad. I have quite a bit of food. I hear mobs. I'm probably going to search the area for a cave of camera if necessary. So right now, I'm just going to look around. It seems to be at this level. Wait, I'm just going to turn my volume up really quick. Wait, whoops. Um, 
So it sounds like it's coming from this direction. So I'm just gonna mine here. Yeah, it's getting louder. I am going in the right direction. Sounds like it's coming from down here a bit. I'm just gonna mine down a bit. Hopefully I find this cave. So it sounds like it's coming from this direction now. It sounds like it's coming from right within here. It's right below me. It's one of the two. Okay, this is now getting kind of annoying. It sounds like it's coming from down here. -ish. Hopefully I find it soon and kill them. Okay, and I found it. So I'm all out of torches. Gonna make some more. First I'm gonna kill everything in here. Because I do not want any mobs in here. Okay, so there's iron. It's a good thing. Okay, so... Now that they're taken care of, I'll just kill this spider really quick and quickly make a staircase. So my first mob kill, yay. I'm going to quickly organize my inventory a bit. I'll definitely need it like this. So let's grab this iron. I'll really need it. And I have and I have seen a video. So there is this achievement called Diamond See You Throw Diamonds at Another Player. But I'm pretty sure you can just throw it to a mob or something and just get it. Or throw it to yourself, I think. I'm not sure on that one. But I know you throw it to something. I just can't remember what. So when my cave connects to an outside cave, I'll probably block the outside off. Because this cave seems like it'll be big. And I do not want any mobs getting in from the outside. Because that's probably the worst thing that could happen. But this has been a really good first two days. I mean, seriously. You can't get better luck than this. Finding an... I mean, seriously. I may have not found important things, but I did... Like, I found important things. Maybe not great things, but at least I'm going to survive. So this video is going to be ending in maybe a few more minutes. I'm just gonna explore the mine a bit more. I'm making sure this place is light lit up. Cause I've seen a, a channel, they literally use up all their torches or barely even use them. I'm not gonna do that. Cause I like to see too, and my brightness is at maximum. So I wanna make sure I can see. I'll block that off. So it seems that there are quite a few mobs down here. Oh my god, skeletons. The good thing about zombies is they're like perfect. So hope so one of them's dead. Okay, so they're all dead. I'm gonna grab this iron in a second. Okay, so let's grab this. So this has been a great first two days. Well, I'm gonna have to block that lava off, definitely. I don't wanna die. Cause, knowing me, I'm probably gonna fall in. Cause I always fall into lava when I'm not trying to. So, I have that feeling like I'm going to. And I get some coal. Let's try to get this iron. Cause I'll need more torches if I'm gonna explore more next episode. But, this episode has been fun. And it's gonna end in maybe like one or two more minutes. Because I really don't want to be in here much longer. It's pretty dangerous. I'll probably stay in here and collect the rest of this stuff to get my torches. Because I don't want to end the episode right now. I feel like I should have it a bit longer maybe. Because it just seems like being the first episode. I just, just make it a bit longer than what I should be. I'm, I'm just gonna collect some of this because I will definitely need it. Oh my god! They're waiting! It's a zombie apocalypse! Oh my god! I'm so glad I got away from that lava. And this is why I, I make my house in my like my mind in my house. It's too dangerous to do anything outside, because if I do, then I could wind up dying. It could take a while to get back to my stuff, unlike this. 
And then I could lose all my stuff forever, which I do not want to do. Because, trust me, losing your stuff is the worst thing possible. Oh my god, is he invisible? Okay, there he is. Yeah, I'm definitely going to block that lava off in a second. Because that's the reason I died, and I do not want to die from the beginning. Ooh, yeah, Ender Pro. So, I'm so glad I just got that Ender Pro. Now I'm, now I'm getting close to finishing... The game might get closer to the end. I may not have any blaze rods, but I don't care. So let me check out this way. It doesn't seem like there's much. And there's nothing. So I'm just going to light the area that the lava doesn't. Because I don't. Because I want this place to be a safe area. Because so far I've only died once. And it's only because I wasn't expecting anything. So, it looks like this place goes down, just like the other one. This one seems like it will end soon, though. So, it's gonna end... Oh, my God. Making out. I'm just gonna kill... So, you know what? This place seems like it's gonna continue on for a while, so I probably end the episode here. But, it seems too dangerous right now, so I probably, like, like, I might not. Okay, so he's dead. So, I'm definitely going to collect this ore. Oh, I got a creeper. I hate these things. Oh, my God. Is that emerald already? So, this has been a really fast emerald find. And you know what? For my own safety, I'm blocking this off. I'll find that eventually. But I'm just going to check up here, maybe. So, I've been there. So, I'm just going to get up here, see what's over here. So apparently there's nothing. So it looks like I'm going to be exploring that other area and getting all this stuff off camera. So I'm so I'm just going to get all this loot off camera and go down here next episode. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.